I just bought a bunch of Lego Technic construction sets, and today I want to see if I can do real construction with them by building a Lego house in this tiny construction site. But first, we gotta build some vehicles, so let's go do that. Let's start with these. The first set we're gonna build is the motorized excavator. This thing has 1,100 pieces and is one of the smaller sets, surprisingly, we're gonna be building today. So let's start with bag number one. <laughs> it literally says don't use with real sand. It also says not to use outside. We're literally breaking every rule in the book here. And there we have it. The motorized excavator is complete and we can use it. And we also have the articulated hauler. This thing is pretty huge. And I think this will help us a lot. This thing goes right here. This connects right there. Man, this thing's gonna go pretty fast, bro. Bam! This is remote control, as you can see. I think this one should give us a little bit more power. Let's test it out. The goal for this video is to build a Lego house with a pool in the scaled construction site using Lego Technic construction vehicles, because I've always wondered if they can do the stuff that the real vehicles can. But before we can actually build a Lego house, we need to excavate and flatten out the area. So, this is what it looks like. We have two piles of dirt on top. Now, we can actually start using the Technic vehicles we've built. So you can see here, I turn this on. I gotta get used to the controls of each one of these specifically. Having a little bit of a hard time making up this hill here, but once we do, we can lower this and try and push some of this dirt, I guess. Let's see. Well, this one's kind of a no-go. <laughs> Let's try the other one. Nice, and then, bring this around. Hey, look at that. Wow. So far, this one is uh, pretty terrible. None of these are really rated for use with real dirt. It also says you shouldn't do that, but I'm doing that to test if you actually can. And dump the dirt over there. All right, so I've been playing with these two for just a little while. This one does not go very fast. This one is just completely terrible with the gear shifter. We've been able to move approximately, like this is all we've been able to move from that pile right there. I think we need a little bit more power. Luckily, I planned for this, so let's go build some better ones. <laughs> These four sets should give us a lot more power and hopefully let us move a lot more dirt. These are all motorized and they should be pretty powerful. Let's start with the bucket wheel excavator. 3,929 pieces. Look at how big this box is. Awesome. I feel like a real constructionist. All right, guys, we just finished the Lego bucket excavator. Man, that took me like a while. We also have the little uh, truck here that this dumps into, so that's cool. Let's build a few more. This is the articulated hauler, the Cat D11 bulldozer. <laughs> this is gonna take a while to build. Time for treads. We should be able to haul some serious dirt with these. I'm gonna start with the Cat D11. Should be pretty strong. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. You can go forward and backwards. You can also turn when one tread only goes and the other one stays the same. And then for the front scoop, it has two different functions. This one raises it up and lowers it down using those little actuators right there. And then this one actually tips it. And that will tip it up and down. So all together for functionality on this thing, it's working pretty well. Let's see if we can flatten out the landscape a little bit. Trying to make a nice flat place for the house. These treads keep snapping, you guys. Hey, it's flattening out the area though. I'll give it that. This is working out, guys. This one's working pretty well. You can see we flattened the first hill, which is good. We still have that hill over there. So let's use the bucket excavator and see how well that one can do. So you can see here there's a gearbox on top. You have a battery box, which you turn on, and then you can get it to do things by simply turning on the gearbox. <laughs> uh, 
That'll come up here eventually. Wow, this thing is not working at all. What the heck? This thing isn't running. I don't understand. Okay, so quick update. The bucket wheel excavator is not going to work for this. <laughs> These two things are gears that are specifically designed so that they can spin around the axle if too much torque is going through. And that's preventing this thing from actually working. So that's kind of a fail on that one. But luckily we still have some other things that should work to move this dirt pile right here. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this can do. Dude, this thing is a beast. Look at this. Oh man, this is gonna work so well, I can see it. Forward. that oh my gosh this one is working so much better than the other ones dude we might even be able to get a full scoop of dirt move it around to here check it out it opens the bucket and it dumps the dirt oh, let's go all right i'm gonna try and move this pile now i think we can do it with this so it's pretty fun to control it's uh, a little difficult from the outside it's hard to get used to the controls, to be honest. I've, I've never used this model before. Oh, the tread came off. Once we move that pile and flatten it out a little bit more, we can move on to our next step. Okay, so we have sort of, as you can see, made the pile flat-ish. This is actually going to be our pool. So it is a Lego, official Lego element. To open it up, we're gonna bury this so the pool will be that big. And then we're gonna put the house right there. So this will go right here. This will go right on top of concrete. We're gonna actually pour real concrete. I'm not sure how deep we need the foundation to be, but we do have this one and this one works okay. So I'm gonna try and get as far as I can with this. If we can't, we'll just uh, dig it by hand. <laughs> On the bright side, now is a fantastic chance to use our new, whatever this is. Put it into drive, and then... Yeah, it's too heavy. So, not made for real dirt, which makes sense. But we're gonna use it anyway. So we got our area for our pool right here. Foundation for the house is gonna go here. The next step is to pour a foundation using concrete. This sounds like a bad idea, but I'm gonna go with it. None of this is intended for real construction purposes, so we're gonna just kind of hope for the best. Here is our Lego concrete truck. Let's go mix up some concrete. So, the plan, we're gonna mix cement in this bucket and then we're gonna funnel it into this thing. We also have our motor for the cement truck. There we go. We'll see how well that works. We can now pour it. All right, we got concrete in. Let's see if this works. One or two. Come on now. So powerful now. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Oh no. Ah oh, man. Uh, we're just gonna pour the rest of this manually. Don't put real concrete into a Lego concrete truck. It does not work as you thought, but we got the concrete poured. Once this cures, we can come back and put a base plate on top and then install a Lego house on top of that. But first, we have to actually build a Lego house. Basically, since we poured the foundation, we're gonna put this Lego base plate on top of it, which is 48 studs by 48 studs wide. And on top of this, we're gonna put the pieces of the house in place. They're gonna be built separately. We're gonna have four walls and a roof. I wanna use this moment to remind you, I know nothing about construction or houses. Let's build up the first wall here. On the top of this, we added some two by fours, and those will help it snap into the other walls when we lower it down with the crane and lock everything together. So there's the front wall. Now we gotta build three more. <laughs> All right, so we have four pieces of a house which connect and go together. We also have two roof pieces, so the next thing we need to do is design a roof. Basically, it'll just sit on both sides of this really simply. It's just gonna be made of plates. Now, when we lock it together, we just add plates everywhere. Look at that! Man, I'm so proud. All right, now we just gotta make another one of these. All right, so we've dry fit together our house. I'm not gonna show you this because I want it to be a surprise. Now we can take this part, take it to the construction site, but first we need to build some Lego Technic sets to actually put this into place. 
these are the Lego Technic sets we're gonna actually use to put the house in place and move it. I'm gonna send a truck and a crane off to my friend Christian, who is graciously going to build it for me. Let's start with the cranes. This thing's huge. This is the motor, and it goes right into those two holes, which are there and there. So, theoretically, well, that's pretty easy. And now we have a functioning motor. And you can see when that turns, the wheels turn. So now we have a motor. This thing is actually way bigger than I thought it would be. So let's see what is next. All right, guys, it is time to finally finish this house. This is the rough terrain crane. It is absolutely awesome. The first step to building a house is getting the pieces onto the crane. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this big crane here and we're gonna rotate it over. The controls for this thing are honestly my favorite out of all the builds we've done just because it's so easy and it actually works. We turn this on. We can also rotate the entire base and this is super cool. There's this knob right here. It lets us rotate it that way. So we'll rotate it, swing it over, and then we can extend the arm up. Switch that to lower. This arm will now lower, and we can actually get it pretty close. Stop. Connect this and that. We gotta put down these things, which basically hold it in place. Right here to the switch. Look at that thing lifting up. Let's go. Now we just gotta move the first wall into place right there. Here we go. I'm gonna draw the arm a little bit so it has a little bit more torque. Let's pull up the string here and see what happens. Oh yeah, there we go. Yes, okay, now we can extend the arm. Rotate this, bring the whole crane around. Let's go. We want to bring this down. Check it out, that is so cool. Let's go guys, we got the first part of the house in place. Let's move these other three walls and snap them into place. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be perfect or what? Let's go. Snap it into place. All right. We got the last wall of the house before we move to the roof here. Nice. All right, we got the final wall in place. Now we gotta bring in the roof and we're gonna use a different crane for that. Test that one out. Here we have the Mac Anthem semi truck. You can see there, it is carrying the two roof pieces over to our construction site. We also have the Technic Crane Mark II. It's almost as big as the red one. Now if we just bring the truck up the hill, unlatch it, and now we have our roof pieces. Now let's actually move them onto the house and finish it. That is so cool, look at that. That is so cool. This thing here is slipping. This one's definitely not as strong as the other one is. In place. Now all we gotta do is put the roof on. Now for the other one. Line it up. Line it up. These controls are amazing, by the way. And bring it up. Oh gosh, my moth in my pants. That scared me. Final piece of the puzzle. All right, guys, the last and final thing we have to do is install the pool. Oh yeah, come on now, come on now. Hey, it's off the ground, you guys, check that out. Now we just gotta rotate it into place. <laughs> We have our pool installed. Now all we gotta do is do some cool groundwork, clean up, do some landscaping, and this thing will be like 100% complete. Let's get the digger and see what we can do real quick. Okay, so that's a bust. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna shovel the rest of the dirt in here. We don't have all night. All right guys, this is the final reveal. Here we go, I'm so excited. Check this thing out, that is so cool. <laughs> we got a diving board and two lounge chairs right there. Two just beautiful trees in the front, look at those things. Little palm tree by the pool. 
but we built this using a lot of Lego construction sets, so I think the answer is yes, you can do real construction using Lego construction sets, but you probably shouldn't because it's a lot of work. Huge thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you check out this video's sponsor, Crazy Kai's Bricklink Store, for your Lego brick needs. You can check out their store by clicking the link in the description or this button right here. I'll see you in the next one.